three, two, one. Be heard, stable beast. Excitement and relief as the Large Hadron Collider subsystems were back into action, setting a new world record. Colliding its first protons again after three years of upgrades faster than ever before. Dream team! Physicists and engineers have been planning this part of the experiment for 15 years. For the longest time, Scientists believe that the smallest particle that exists in the universe is an atom. Several theories were also postulated pertaining to atom shapes in different substances. Some scientists believe that atoms could have cubic, square, or circular shapes based on the types of substances. However, with the evolution of equipment and testing techniques, we have established that all atoms have the same shape, and also, atoms are not the smallest particles. Powerful equipment has allowed us to see and isolate subatomic particles such as neutrons, protons, and electrons. But it does not end there. There are several other subatomic particles that scientists have discovered over the years. It has led to the creation of an entire discipline of particle physics. Scientists have developed new equipment and technologies to detect these particles. This equipment typically involves the collision of two known subatomic particles at high kinetic energy, which leads to the isolation of new subatomic particles. Discoveries and understanding of these subatomic particles help us understand laws and the physics that govern them and pay the way for new inventions. Mainly two technologies are used for these tests, the fixed target setup and colliders. Colliders are more effective as they collide the two particles at much faster speeds. And the most enormous collider, known as the Large Hadron Collider, is developed by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN. It went operational in 2010 and has been working ever since. Over the years, it has made astonishing discoveries, which is exactly what I will discuss in this video. Hadron refers to subatomic composite particles composed of quarks that are held together by a strong force. Hadrons include baryons such as protons and neutrons and mesons like pion and kaon. The development of Hadron started in 1998 and was completed in 2008 thanks to the collaboration of more than 10,000 scientists. About $9 billion was spent on the construction of LHC. The collider is contained in a circular tunnel with a circumference of 26.7 kilometers and a depth ranging from 50 to 175 meters. Variations in the depth were made deliberately to avoid the excavation of the vertical access shaft and reduce the amount of tunnel under the Jura Mountains. Without the variations, the collider would have negatively impacted the surrounding landscape. Furthermore, it also helps to protect the background radiation from the Earth's crust. The tunnel that houses LHS was constructed between 1983 and 1988 and was used to install the Large Electron Positron Collider. It crosses the border between France and Switzerland at four points. The LHC has two parallel beams. There are four intersection points in the ring where particles collide with each other. To keep the particles in a circular path, there are 1,232 dipole magnets and 392 quadrupole magnets, which also keep the beam focused. Several thousand other magnets are also used to correct the beam's trajectory and maximize impact chances. It takes about 96 tons of superfluid helium-4 to keep magnetic at an operational temperature of minus 200 and 71.25 degrees centigrade. About 470 tons of nb tie superconductors are also needed to keep the LHC cool. All of it essentially makes the LHC the largest cryogenic facility in the world. LHC has nine detectors installed underground at the intersection points to detect the subatomic particles generated by the collision of hadrons. Two large detectors for general detection purposes include ATLAS experiment and compact muon solenoid. Other detectors have specialized roles, including ALICE, LHCB, TOTEM, MOEDL, LHCF, SND, and FASER. 
the size of specialized sensors, is much smaller than the general detectors. When the Large Hadron Collider became operational, there were concerns that it might create a doomsday phenomenon. The theories involved the creation of black hole and the hypothetical particles known as strangelets. And these were not just conspiracy theories, but rather supported by scientific evidence. It compelled the CERN to review the safety of LHC, but fortunately, it did not conclude any dangerous results. Collision events and physical conditions that exist in LHC and similar experiments occur naturally and routinely in the universe without hazardous consequences, said the report, which the American Physical Society also endorsed. Furthermore, the report concluded that ultra-high cosmic rays produced by the Large Hadron Collider have much less magnitude than those that naturally exist worldwide. So, you do not have to worry about creating a large black hole that can potentially engulf the Earth. LHC has been operational for over a decade, and this complex machine has yielded astonishing results over the years. One of the most important discoveries made by the LHC so far includes the Higgs boson. It was predicted in 1964. In July 2012, CERN announced the discovery of the Higgs boson, which captivated the audience of the entire world. The breakthrough was massive because it provided the missing piece of the standard model of particle physics. The standard particle physics model describes all 17 fundamental particles and four forces that govern the interaction between these particles. Interestingly, the model does not include gravity in these four forces. After the discovery of Higgs boson, the scientists who developed the theory of Higgs boson were rewarded with the Nobel Prize in 2013. Higgs boson was detected in the first run of LHC, which started in 2009 and lasted till 2013. About 284 collisions occurred in the LHC detector, which was reported in December 2009. The results revealed that the production of charged hadrons was greater than initially anticipated. The second run of LHC started in 2015 and lasted till 2018. During this run, scientists wanted to measure particles' cross-sections while traveling at higher kinetic speeds. The series of experiments were designed to detect a hypothetical particle but could not confirm its existence. However, the second run did manage to discover 59 new hadrons. But the biggest breakthrough came from pentaquark, which was discovered in July 2022. The pentaquark is made up of a charm quark and a charm antiquark and also contains a strange quark which was observed in an analysis of decays of charged B mesons. It takes the total number of pentquark and tetraquark to 21. Such particles are also referred to as exotic matter. The discoveries of these quarks are important because they play an instrumental part in understanding how the universe was formed and the laws that govern it. That is all for this video. We hope it was informative and cleared up everything about the Large Hadron Collider. Let us know what you think of the LHC in the comment sections and stay connected with us to learn more about such discoveries. As always, we will see you at the next one.